How is the disease known as uh, typhoid fever transmitted? Well, on uh, one end of the spectrum, you have this uh, Salmonella typhi uh, bacterium. And that bacterium thrives in human beings and is typically expelled through uh, either uh, stool or urine. We'll just uh, call it uh, feces. On the other end of the spectrum, we have uh, people that consume, uh, for example, food. And I have a picture here, but it could be any type of food. And they also consume uh, water. Well, uh, that water becomes contaminated with feces. And those feces contain the Salmonella typhi bacteria, which gets into the food and the water, and then it becomes ingested uh, by humans. And that's how uh, typhoid fever is transmitted. So you have a couple factors here. You have uh, bad hygiene. And then there's uh, bad uh, public sanitary conditions. Now, if you notice here, I have a map of uh, different countries and uh, how typhoid fever is in these countries. Some countries are worse than others, but typically the countries that have the, the bad problems have uh, a problem with uh, bad public sanitation conditions. And the countries that don't have a problem with uh, typhi, uh, salmonella typhi bacteria have good sanitation conditions. Uh, you can also have uh, flying insects that feed on the feces and uh, can further contaminate. Now, uh, chlorinization of water also helps uh, reduce the uh, risk of um, water being contaminated by uh, the Salmonella typhi bacteria. One other note about uh, transmission is that a uh, person may become an uh, asymptomatic uh, carrier of typhoid fever. Uh, what that means is they don't have any symptoms and they're uh, perfectly healthy. However, they are uh, capable of infecting others with the disease. And uh, one estimate I read was that uh, approximately 1 in 20 people uh, who contact typhoid continue to carry the disease after they completely recover from that. Signs and symptoms include fever, body aches, diarrhea, uh, vomiting. Now, uh, one must be careful uh, when we get to the diagnosis stage because these signs are similar to that of uh, malaria. Other signs and symptoms include uh, fatigue, abdominal pains, constipation. Now, uh, classically, there are uh, four stages of uh, typhoid fever. Uh, stage one is where the uh, temperature rises. There's a fever, uh, headache, cough. Stage two, you get to a uh, high fever uh, plus uh, diarrhea. Stage three is where the uh, complications occur. Uh, it's typically two to three weeks in. You've got uh, intestinal hemorrhage, encephalitis, uh, neuropsychiatric symptoms, metastatic uh, abscesses uh, such as uh, cholecystitis, uh, endocarditis, and uh, osteitis. Uh, also, uh, you have uh, dehydration could be a possible uh, complication. Now, uh, stage four is essentially where the uh, fever goes away. It's also known as uh, defervescence. So, uh, in essence, uh, most patients survive typhoid fever. However, it can be fatal, uh, so that's one thing to watch out for. Now, as far as uh, diagnosing typhoid fever, uh, what typically is done is there's, uh, you take cultures of uh, blood, uh, bone marrow, or uh, stool cultures, and then they send those to a lab where a microbiologist will test those for uh, Salmonella typhi bacteria and see if there's any, uh, any of that bacteria shows up in the, in the test. Now let's take a look at the different methods of treatment uh, for typhoid fever. Uh, first of all, there's antibiotics such as uh, ampicillin, uh, chloroamphenicol, trimethoprin, uh, sulfame thioxyl, amoxicillin, ciprofloxacin, 
Now, one thing to keep in mind with antibiotics is uh, some of them, or the strains of salmonella bacteria over time can become resistant to some types of antibiotics. Uh, that's just one thing to keep in mind there. Uh, there's also uh, oral uh, rehydration uh, therapy. And then there's a uh, uh, possible uh, surgical uh, treatment, such as in uh, cases of uh, intestinal uh, perforation. Now, on the uh, prevention side, there are uh, vaccines available, uh, such as the oral uh, TY21A and uh, the injectable uh, typhoid polysaccharide. And uh, that is essentially an overview of typhoid fever. Thank you for watching.